This is BYU Radio on 107.9 FM, KUMT Randolph. You're listening to BYU Women's Soccer on BYU Radio. It's time for kickoff of BYU Women's Soccer on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Left footed shot and a goal! What a shot by the BYU Cougars. Coverage of today's game is brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union. Mountain America, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. Brought to you by Smith's Food and Drug. Get double fuel points and free grocery delivery with a boost by Smith's Rewards Membership. Alongside Rachel Manning-Jorgensen, here's Jason Shepard. Good evening, BYU women's soccer fans. Welcome into Southfield, where tonight the 2-1-1 one, and one BYU Cougars face the 1-4 and four Matadors of CSUN. My name is Jason Shepard. Thank you so much for tuning in to BYU Women's Soccer. Joining me on the broadcast, former Cougar standout Rachel Manning-Jorgensen. We'll hear from Rachel coming up in just a little bit. Let's get into it. For more on tonight's matchup between BYU and CSUN, it's time to hear from the head coach of the Cougars, Jennifer Rockwood. Our interview with Coach Rockwood is brought to you by Science Bank. For big-time banking with a home team feel, Science Bank is for you. I asked Coach what her message to the team has been after not getting the results that she would have wanted in this week's two previous games. Well, I think just finding consistency. That's something we've talked about all season, and we were consistent in our starts with our first three games. Um, but obviously Alabama came out, and you could tell they wanted it, and they just came out on fire, and we didn't match their intensity, um, and they just kind of rattled us, right, and, and beat us to balls, and it just didn't look like we had the same passion or desire. So we just got to find that again. That's just a mindset that we need to have, and then we just have to learn from some of the things. They put us under a lot of pressure, and we didn't make adjustments in the in the run of the game. Um, Some good lessons for us to learn uh, as we move forward. How have the players handled this? Because it looks like everybody's still coming in with a positive attitude, ready to work. I know as a coach, that's really what you're looking for because that's what leads to progress. Yeah, absolutely. We have a lot of experienced players on our team actually this year, and even though we graduated such great ones. And so we've just challenged those players that have experience to just step up, show a little bit more composure on the field, um, hold some people more accountable, and and really just have some more direct communication. Um, You know, obviously you can't call time out you can't talk things out in soccer and so you need to have those voices on the field and it's usually up the center right it's lava and Liv and jamie that you know we need to have kind of scheming and and trying to figure things out and making changes when changes need to be made and and they're more than capable of it so yeah the energy is good the vibe is good i think everyone just wants a chance to get back out on the field and and try again i think we're we're in a good spot we're we're making good progress you're going to have bumps along the road and you just have to learn from them we were having a conversation the other day and you have csun coming in in. They played also Thursday night, losing to, to Utah Valley. But in a matchup like this, as you said to me the other day, it's about us getting better, and that's what we need to focus on. Absolutely. And, you know, they're going to come in just kind of not as much pressure. I feel like we have the pressure, right, to rebound, and that's what we're – we want that. We want to be the target. And like I told the girls, Alabama came in. They got to play the sixth-ranked team in the country after coming off a big win against Clemson. And that's what we have to be prepared for every single match. And you want to be that team with the target on your back. Back, but it also comes with a lot of pressure and you have to be prepared for that and so yeah we just want to come out and, and really focus on what we do Northridge is going to come out they're going to play we don't know if they're going to press or not but we just have to be able to make those adjustments in game thanks Jim we'll talk to you after the game awesome thank you welcome back pitch side getting you ready for BYU and CSUN Cougars playing their third game of the week A 2-2 draw on Monday against Colorado. Alabama was here at Southfield Thursday night. Cougars dropped that one 3-2. Looking to salvage this week. And uh, Rachel, uh, you know that this is a CSUN team that record-wise is struggling. But BYU right now is looking to come out and, and really end this week on a really good note. Yeah, BYU certainly coming out looking to find their team identity again. Like Jen talked about in the pregame, consistency is one of the things that they're trying to work on right now. So there's certainly opportunities for some of the leadership out there, the, those leaders to kind of step up a little bit and help help out and help BYU find their identity again and hopefully get out there and, and do what BYU does best and, you know, fall back on some of the things they did well last year, things like getting end line, getting crosses in, trying to score first, score early, score again, all those kind of things. Time now for tonight's starting lineups presented by Skedit. Team Cosmo uses Skedit software to schedule his appearances. Let Skedit go to work for your entire service company. 
Here's the starting 11 for the visitors from CSUN. They will start a brand new keeper, a freshman, making her debut tonight. Her name is Hayden Malden. She wears number zero. Your other starters tonight. On your back line, number four, Aaron Anderson, number 19, Gabriella Robles, and number 24, Casey Garrity. Also, number 20, Sammy Alarcone. In the midfield, number six, Angelica Claiborne, number 11, Ashley Cruz, number 21, Ashley Torres, and number 23, Brooke Mobeck. Your forwards, there are two of them, number seven, Isabel Reyes, and number 10, Cindy Artiega, she's one to pay attention to tonight. She leads this team with two goals. As for the starting 11 for the BYU Cougars, we will start on the back line. Number 24, the freshman, Izzy Stratton. Number 26, Laveni Vaca. In the midfield, number two, Olivia Smith. Number 10, Olivia Wade. Number 20, or excuse me, number 12 is Jamie Shepard. Number 16, Kendall Peterson. And number 22, Bella Felino. Your two forwards, number 11, Eliman, and number 13, Brecken Mozingo. Oh, can't forget number 33, Rachel McCarthy. And once again in goal, number 66, Savannah Mason. And we are officially underway here from Southfield. And the Matadors with the first possession. As the sun is setting, you can see some sun towards the west. But all in all, this, the moon is out. It is a half moon. BYU fans feeling pretty good after BYU football took care of business. And now they're hoping that BYU women's soccer can do the same thing tonight. Still possession for the Matadors. Back to the midfield. And number six, Angelica Claiborne. Taken away by BYU. Nice battle right now with Brecken Mazengo. She's at the top of the arc, able to battle out of the defense but now taken away by the Matadors. Here comes CSUN. Artiega passes wide, right at midfield. Now to Alarcon. Forward pass to Cruz. Cruz's shot is wide, and it'll be a goal kick for Savannah Mason. Speaking of Savannah Mason, you will hear from Savannah coming up at halftime. She will be our halftime player interview. Talked with her yesterday after practice, so something to look forward to for halftime. Always enjoy those player interviews that we get to run for you. BYU possession. It's on the back line. Izzy Stratton. Over to Vaca. Back to Izzy. The freshman now pushes forward. To Mazingo. Brecken in a battle right now with Claiborne. And CSUN will come away with it. Bad pass, though. And Brecken steps in front of it. Here come the Cougars pushing the ball into the attacking third. Bella Felino almost had it. Great defense. The keeper, Molden, runs up in the box, jumps on top of the ball, and eliminates an offensive opportunity for BYU. Just underway. Pass stolen by Kendall Peterson. Near the inline. Left-footed cross. Felino in front of the goal. Back to Shepard. BYU still in the attacking third. Great offensive opportunity early here at Southfield. Playing it wide to Rachel McCarthy. Right-footed cross goes through and sent the other way by the Matadors. Cal State Northridge likes to be called CSUN now. But they lose possession, and BYU comes away with it right at midfield. Peterson with the ball. Pass deflected by the Matador defense. And it's Anderson that comes away with it. Pass to the middle of the pitch to Brooke Mobeck. And now even further wide near the far touchline. Back to the back line. And now CSUN pushes it forward. Nobody there except BYU. The Cougars in their black kit trimmed in royal. CSUN in the white kit with red, tr red and black trim. An errant pass by the Matadors was all the way back into the BYU defensive third, so the Cougars will take possession there. Just underway here from Provo, Utah.
Jason Shepard and Rachel Manning Jorgensen with you. We appreciate you tuning in to BYU Women's Soccer here on the new skin BYU Sports Network. Cougars looking to end the week on a high note. Suffered a draw and a loss in the two previous games. They come in with a record of 2 1 and 1. BYU ball. Peterson with it here on the near side. Looking for Ellie Mond, but the pass way ahead of her and out of play. It'll be a throw in for Aaron Anderson and CSUN. What do you think so far of the looks right now BYU's getting? I think BYU's come out with a sense of urgency. They, they've they uh, come out with, you know, that sense of, like, we, we need to get going. We need to try to score. We need to get back to what we're doing. So I think they've come out with some urgency, and they've had some good opportunities so far. It'll just be important for them to try to keep it in their offensive third and, and keep going well with these transition opportunities. On the throw-in, it was knocked out by CSUN. So now a throw-in for BYU. McCarthy puts it in play. And now far, the far side to Olivia Smith. Smith near the far side touchline, trying to get around the defense near the end line, across into the box, through a shot by Ellie Mon is saved by Molden. Oh, what a great kick save by Hayden Molden. BYU was inches away from going up 1-0 here. It'll be a BYU corner kick. Corner Kicks are brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. Across into the box. The ball's still in the field, but jumped on by Malden. BYU looked like it was going to have a second opportunity after the corner made its way into the box. But good defense by the keeper. Again, Hayden Malden getting her first start. She is a freshman. See Sun possession near midfield. There'll be a foul on BYU, so a free kick in the center circle for the Matadors. Right at midfield, put in play to Aaron Anderson, the sophomore from Carson, California. Passing forward to Sammy Alarcone. Bad pass by Alarcone. BYU gives it right back. BYU in the defensive third right now. CSUN's first real chance. Cross. Hits Vaca right in the face. We'll call it good defense. Probably doesn't feel too good right now. And a deep kick. From about 45 yards out by Anderson right into the arms of Mason. So, keeper rolls it back in play. But some more questionable passing, and CSUN comes away with it. Matador possession right at midfield. And now a pass forward, down on the far side into the corner. Matadors can't catch up to it. It will roll out. And it should be... Well, it's going to be a free kick. BYU possession. Eight minutes into this one. 0-0. Zero, zero. BYU's had some opportunities. Cougars keep it on the back line. Stratton now pushes forward near midfield. Long pass. Headed back and back to the BYU back line. And Olivia Smith. Smith trying to push it forward, taken away by the Matadors. And just like that, BYU returns the favor, steps in front of the pass. Now Jamie Shepard has it, sends the ball wide, looking for Brecken Mazingo, and she catches up to it before it goes out of play. Nice hustle there by Brecken Mazingo. BYU will retreat and now push forward. Vaca with the ball. Lavinny slips, regains her composure, and now passes back to Stratton. Izzy to Olivia Smith. Smith passes through the double team to Olivia Wade. Wade fighting off the defender. It is a battle right now. Wade gets the pass away to Peterson. Peterson with a shot from deep 
and it sails wide and out of play. Goal kick coming up for CSUN. CSUN was at Utah Valley on Thursday night. They dropped that game to the Wolverines. They're one and four. They've scored only three goals on the season, given up 19. That's probably one reason why they decided to switch keepers. Pass from Mobeck taken away by Stratton. And here come the Cougars one more time. Pushing the ball, trying to be aggressive early. A pass through into the box. Malden catches it before Jamie Shepard and Rachel McCarthy could get to it. Malden punts it deep, high in the night sky, right to midfield, headed up by Wade and knocked down by Leveni Vaca. Vaca to Peterson. Peterson's pass is deflected by Anderson. Both teams fighting for it, coming down with it. CSUN back to Anderson. Anderson trying to get away from Peterson, can't do it. The ball stays in play. Peterson now defending Cruz, goes off of Cruz. Quick throw in for the Cougars. Petey puts it in play, gets it to Felino, And now to Ellie Mon. Mon near the touch line and now passes it back to Vaca on the back line. The ball right on the edge of the neutral and attacking third. BYU pushes it forward to Shepard. Jamie leads this team in goals. BYU scored seven on the year, given up five. Turnover Cougars, here comes the Matadors. Bad pass, and the Cougars take over. BYU immediately pushes it the other way. The speedy Rachel McCarthy on the move. Three defenders around her. Backs it away, passes to Shepard, and now back to Rachel McCarthy. McCarthy looking for Mon. Pass into the box. Mon catches it before it gets to the end line. Right-footed cross. Kicked out by CSUN. BYU will maintain possession. Vaca wide to Smith. And now even further wide to Mazingo. Brecken. Getting around the defense, looking for the right foot across, and can't do it. Sliding tackle by the defender and out of play. It'll be BYU's second corner kick coming up in just a moment. Mazingo will take it. Mazingo taking the kick. The right side corner. Ball put in play. All the way through, nobody touches it, and it will go out of play. Matador substitution, checking out number 11. We'll Ashley have a Cruz substitution for the Matadors. Five, Ashley Sam Cruz Bustamante. will check out, and checking in, Sam Bustamante. The first substitution of the ball game. Still waiting for the goal kick. There we have it from Malden. In play and right to BYU. They say thank you very much. Mon with the pass to McCarthy. Into the box. Shot with the left foot. And it's wide of the far post. Rachel had a good shot. Had a good look. And it just cut away from the far post. A little too much English on that one. But BYU right now, Rachel, getting opportunities. And you love to see that. Because eventually, when they're putting this much pressure on, one's going to get the back of the net. Yeah, and I love how quick Rachel McCarthy was to get her shot off right there. It was a good uh, step-up win by Kendall Peterson on that 50-50 ball. She was able to feed that ball in. So good job by Rachel to, to pull the trigger on that real, real quickly. I want to thank our game sponsor for tonight, Raisin Canes. One love. Love me some Raisin Canes. Had that the other day. It's delicious. If it's chicken, I'm going to eat it. 32 minutes to go here in the first half. And a foul has been called on Brecken Mazingo on the takedown. So a free kick for CSUN on the far side. Taking the kick is Isabel Reyes, a sophomore from Valencia, California. Reyes all the way to the other side of, pit, of the pitch to Alarcone. There's a Sammy and a Cammy Alarcone, which is awesome for broadcasters. 
Not twins, by the way. BYU possession. Mazingo taken down, and a foul is called right at midfield. So a free kick for BYU, and Olivia Wade quickly takes it. The ball played back to Stratton, and now across the pitch to Vaca. Now the Cougars push it across midfield. Peterson. Left-footed pass. Just clips the box. Mazingo gets it and crosses it back into the 18. The ball up for grabs, and a foul is going to be called away from the ball. Smith was taken down. Did not see who the defender was. It looks like it was Artiega that was taken down. How's that foul on us? So it will be a free kick about 24 yards out. Coaching staff for the Matadors. A little puzzled as to why the foul was on them. The fact that our crowd mic was right in front of that conversation, we'd like to thank them for keeping it clean. 30 minutes to go here in the first half. A free kick upcoming in the attacking third. The wall is set up by the Matadors. Felino runs up on it. A shot, and it is wide of the far post. A little bit of a late reaction by Malden, but it was not on frame, and it will be a goal kick for the Matadors. The ball put in play. BYU there to keep it from crossing midfield. Smith on the far side. Passes up to Shepard. Shepard can't keep it. Matadors send it the other way to a waiting Kendall Peterson for BYU. Petey, nobody coming up to get her. Passes forward into the box to McCarthy. Good defense by the Matadors. And CSUN will come away with it. Mobeck passes up to Bustamante. Now a pass downfield to Cruz, and great defense by BYU Vaca. Makes it much more difficult. The ball is knocked away. Great job by BYU's back line and Leveni Vaca. That was really the Matadors' best opportunity. Still scoreless here at Southfield. BYU possession. Peterson with the ball. Defended by Bustamante. Kicks it out of play. Another throw in for BYU. Peterson will throw in right in front of the CSUN bench. Gets it into Mon, but the double team there, and it hits off of Mon. And now there's a little bit of confusion. They will change that and say it's off of CSUN. BYU quick throw in. Mon now with the ball in the corner. Across into the box. Kicked up by the Matadors. And Artiega comes away with it. Double team. Takes the ball away from her. Olivia Wade now with the ball. The ball played wide. And now Smith advances forward. The ball through into the box to Felino. Felino dribbles out of the box. Turns, spins and shoots, but the ball ricochets off of the defender and out of play. It'll be the third corner kick of the evening for the BYU Cougars. Corner kicks brought to you by Mountain America, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. Mazingo will take it. With the right foot into the box, punched out by Malden. Good defense there by the freshman keeper. And CSUN comes out the other way. Mobeck. Back to Bustamante. Bustamante's pass is deep. And here come the Matadors. Casey Garrity with a pass to Cruz. Cruz near the inline. Right footed cross right into the hands of Savannah Mason. Played perfectly by the BYU defense and the Cougar keeper. Wasting no time putting the ball back in play. Long pass to McCarthy. 
and just out of reach. Malden runs up and grabs it and quickly rolls it back into play for the Matadors. Both teams have had some looks. BYU with a couple of really good looks, but we are still scoreless. Out of play off of BYU. Throw in on the far side by CSUN. Casey Garrity will throw it in. The junior from Lorba Linda, Yorba Linda, California. Gets it into Bustamante. And she'll play it all the way back to the back line. It finds its way to the foot of Sammy Alarcone. Now to Bustamante. BYU's defense dislodges it. But CSUN maintains possession. Long pass near midfield, intercepted by BYU. And here come the Cougars in the neutral third, trying to push it forward. But the defense dictates a pass backwards. And BYU will reset from its back line. Wade. Wide to Peterson. Peterson has Mon to her left. That's where she goes. Ellie with the left-footed cross near the inline into the box. Good defense there by Mobeck. Steps in front of the pass and sends it the other way. But BYU will keep possession. The only player where that pass went was wearing BYU black and royal blue tonight. Shepard now with the ball. In the attacking third. Back to Mazingo. Brecken with a shot is wide of the far post. I love this aggressive play from BYU. Taking some shots a little bit further out. Immediately putting pressure on the freshman keeper. So it'll be a goal kick for Malden. Going to have another CSUN substitution coming up momentarily. In fact, it's going to happen now. Number two, Stevie Reynolds will check in. Checking out number seven, Isabel Reyes. So BYU is yet to make a substitution. Two so far for the Matadors. Goal kick right at the feet of BYU. And the Cougars have really dominated the run of play here in time of possession. Stratton with the ball, crossing midfield. Looking for Smith. Smith on the move, gets away from the defender. Right-footed cross, deflected. Smith comes away with it. Still with the ball. Gets it to Mazingo. Finds Wade. The ball keeps going from right to left. And finds its way at the feet of Peterson. Peterson going into the left corner. Defender there. Petey just kicks it off of the defender and out of play. It'll set up a corner kick for BYU. It's, I believe it's fourth of the evening. Four corners for BYU. Zero for CSUN. Just under 24 minutes to go. Mon with the right foot. Launches it all the way over the penalty area. Both teams fighting for it. CSUN comes away with it. Pass deep. Vaca there, keeping the opportunity going for BYU. Now wide to Peterson. Left-footed cross, and a header by Felino up and over the crossbar. And another goal kick coming up for the Matadors. Give you an update on what's going on over at the Smith Fieldhouse. Number seven, BYU taking on Pitt. BYU trailing two sets to none. Heading into set number three, and it's 1-1 in set number three. Goal kick, and BYU takes over and here come the Cougars already in the attacking third looking for Mazingo right footed cross nice hustle by Felino gets to it BYU will reset right at the edge of the 18 wide to Brecken near the far side touch Brecken near the inline stops tries to keep the ball in play the ball does go out and it goes off of the Matador. So another goal, or excuse me, another corner Ooh, kick. Corner kick. It's fifth of the Brecken night, Mazingo. and Mazingo will quickly put it in play. Back to Brecken. Across into the box. The ball's still in the area. Both teams fighting for possession. Who will come away with it? Ball still up in the air. Another header. It's four headers in a row. And finally lands at the feet of Leveni Vaca. 
at midfield. Pass to Stratton. Deep pass looking for Felino. Ricochets off of her head to Rachel McCarthy. McCarthy across into the box. Still there. Another shot, this time by Mon with the left foot. And a save by Molden. Nice shot by Ellie Mon and a good opportunity in front of the goal. Yeah, Actually, right. it looked like they hit off of Bella, didn't it? Yeah, I think Season was kind of calling for a handball there, but it also hit off of Bella's waist right there too. But good job by BYU. I, I think they're doing a, a good job out there of uh, pressing super hard against CSUN. So they're, they're giving CSUN a hard time with them trying to build out of the back because BYU's been so relentless in their pressure up there in the attacking third. BYU with eight shots, CSUN with zero, and BYU on the attack again. Smith gets around the defense, cross into the box, taken the other way by the Matadors. But they cannot clear it. BYU comes away with it. Stratton all the way into the attacking third. Now on the far side, back towards the middle of the pitch to Brecken Mazingo. To Jamie Shepard, straight away. Shepard to McCarthy, spins out of the defense. And good defense, speaking of, by CSUN. Here come the Matadors. Hernandez, her pass to Bustamante, intercepted by the Cougars. And the whistle, there's a player down in the backfield, and it looked like it's Sammy Alarcone. She's on her back, clearly in pain. And they're asking for the trainers to come out and take a look at her. I did not see what happened. The good thing is we've got the feed for BYU TV. They're airing the game on the BYU TV app, and it looks like right now they're looking at that left leg they're bending it, trying to stretch it out. We're going to get an opportunity here to see what happened. It looks like she planted, and it's that left leg may have given out. Uh, the, the good news is she's up. The bad news is she's not putting pressure on that left leg. She's being carried off. She's not putting any weight on that left leg. And that is horrible news. You hope that it's... Certainly not something serious and that maybe this is just precautionary, but as I mentioned, as they carry her off, she is not putting any weight on that left leg. You hate to see that. Hopefully it doesn't turn out to be as serious as it looked. So Alarcone, Sammy Alarcone, has been taken off the field and now on the table being looked at by the Northridge trainers. Major player for the Matadors, number 20, Sammy Larkin. In for her. Getting a substitution for Alarcone. And it's Maya Sykes checking in. Redshirt freshman from San Diego, number California. Checking out, number 11, Ellie Mon. Checking in for Ellie's number 21. Hey, Cougar Ellie fans, Mon. get more savings and more benefits with Boost by Smith's Rewards membership. You'll enjoy free delivery and two fuel points for every dollar you spend on groceries and lots more. Membership starts at just $59, so sign up today at smithsfoodanddrug.com slash boost. Play has resumed. BYU with possession. The ball on the far side. Mazingo spins out of the defense and now on the move. Defense gets back and Brecken loses it. The ball sent the other way. The Cougars will maintain possession. Under 20 minutes, we are still scoreless. BYU has had issues scoring goals in the first half this season. They did score against Alabama on Thursday in the first half. We'll see if they can get a goal or who knows, maybe more coming up in the next 20 minutes. Foul on BYU, so it will be possession CSUN, a throw in. Actually, it'll be a free kick. A free kick deep in the CSUN defensive third. Gabriela Robles will take it. Runs up on it and boots it with the right foot into the neutral third, headed out by Wade and run down by Bustamante. A collision that you heard there was Bella Felino 
and Gabriela Robles fighting for that ball. It bounces away from both of them, and the keeper, Malden, now has it and will try and set up her team. She drop kicks it, makes its way near midfield. Headed up by BYU, but it's CSUN that comes away with it. Play down, nope, they'll call a foul first. The foul will be on BYU, so another free kick coming up for CSUN. Free kick taken, put in play. The Matadors will play it all the way back to Sykes on the back line. Trying to play it forward. It was a bad pass, but unfortunately, Kendall Peterson, who was there, couldn't keep the ball, and it hit off of her and out of play. So a throw in. Sykes will take it. Sykes puts it in play. Olivia Wade there, headed up the other direction. CSUN gets a foot on it, sends it the other way. Now both teams fighting for possession. The ball bouncing around. Peterson and Bustamante were both there. And we will have our first Zions Bank substitution for the BYU Cougars for big time banking with a home team feel. Zions Bank is for you. It's going to be Tara Warner checking in for the BYU Cougars. Sixteen forty-six to go here in half number one. BYU possession. Peterson on the near side. Defense approaches. Petey cuts to her left. Gets around. Pushed in the back. No call. Left-footed cross into the box. Hit up and over the netting. And it will stay BYU ball. So it'll be a corner kick. The Cougars' sixth of the evening. Corner Kicks brought to you by Mountain America, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. Warner will take it. Left foot all the way through the box and all the way to the other side. BYU does catch it before it goes out of play. Smith now on the move near the end line. Left footed cross into the box. Warner had a foot on it. Can't keep it. CSUN clears. And now BYU takes it away. And an opportunity in the box. A shot is wide. Oh, a great look by Rachel McCarthy. And it went wide of the far post. Ali Fryer will now check in. Bella Felino will check out our second Zions Bank substitution. Check in number 26, Kemi Alarco. Aaron Bailey was hoping to be able to check in, but they're going to make her wait for the next stoppage of play. So goal kick coming up for Hayden Malden, getting the start for Taylor Timms, who had started every other game for CSUN. CSUN possession and a steal by BYU. The ball sent wide into the corner to Mazingo. Her cross never makes it, taken away. By, BYU, or by CSUN. And now BYU looking to return the favor. Vaca just can't get to it. Does go off of Levinny and out of play. So a throw in in the defensive third for CSUN. A throw in, finding Alarcone. This one, Cami. And back right out of play. And that's off of CSUN. Now they'll let the freshman Aaron Bailey check in. She will check in for Rachel McCarthy. For big time banking with a home team feel, Zions Bank is for you. Zions Bank substitution. Fryer, who just checked in moments ago, gets a foot on it, sends it back to Wade, and now to Olivia Smith. Smith to Mazingo. The ball hits off of Brecken's leg and out of play. So a throw in for the Matadors on the far side. Quickly getting it into play. Sent to their back line and now pushing forward. Looking for Cruz. Cruz plays it back. Pass intercepted by BYU and now they'll play it back towards the middle of the pitch. Right at the edge of the attacking third. Shepard 
to Peterson. Petey looking for Warner. Goes through Warner's legs. And CSUN comes the other way. Cammie Alarcone with the ball. Good defense by BYU. They take it away from Alarcone. And now sent back to Vaca. Vaca plays it wide to Smith. Nearing 13 minutes to go here in the first half. We are scoreless. Shepard trying to get away from the defense. A foul is called. And after the foul was called and play was suspended, number 23, Brooke Mobeck, tried to pick up the ball. And Jamie Shepard didn't like that too much and was asking for something to be said. The official went up and talked with Mobeck. And now it will be a free kick. About 30 yards out. And right now, it looks like it would be Stratton that will take it. The wall being set up. Stratton runs up on it. A shot sails over the crossbar and out of play. Something about Izzy Stratton. 12.20 to go here in the first half. BYU out shooting CSUN. 10 to nothing. CSUN ball, but BYU's defense stifling right now. And a foul is called on BYU. So, a free kick for CSUN right in front of their bench. Everybody backing up, waiting for the kick. Robles boots it deep. Headed out by Wade and then headed over by Shepard. And Tara Warner will come away with it. Warner with a pass to Bailey. The freshman on the move near the top of the box. Shot with the left foot right at Malden with the save. Nice aggressive play by Aaron Bailey. Had enough room around the defender to shoot with the left foot, but it was just played perfectly by the Matador keeper. And I love to see that kind of energy from from Aaron as a freshman coming onto the pitch and having that sense of urgency to try to get a shot off right away. Goal kick, back in play. CSUN possession on the far side. They'll send it back to the back line. And now a deep pass forward. Gets over everyone's head. And Savannah Mason runs out of the box and sends it the other way. CSUN does come away with it. And now a bad pass by Claiborne. Goes out of play. A BYU throw in on the far side. Two more Zions Bank substitutions. Zoe Jacobs will check in for Kendall Peterson. And Daviana Vaca will check in for Olivia Smith. Brooke Mobeck will check out. And number 25, Jordan Sprague, will check in. Also checking out, number 24, Casey Garrity. Did not see who the second CSUN player coming in was. Just under 10 minutes to go, and a dangerous ball. CSUN in the attacking third, sending wide. One of the few opportunities CSUN has had in their attacking third. Good defense, however, by Daviana Vaca, who just entered the game, and Sends the ball the other way and out of play. Eliminating an offensive opportunity. Good job by Davi. Checking out number six, Angelica Claiborne. Angelica Claiborne will check out. Checking in number nine, Harley Martin Dittillo. A flurry of substitutions here late for both teams. 9-14 to go. A throw in by the Matadors. Hits off of BYU and another throw in about 10 yards downfield from where the original one was. Almost in that far corner. A throw in. BYU heading it up. Will they come away with it? They will. Stratton sends it the other way. Bailey, stop and start. Passes forward to Jamie Shepard. Jamie on the run. Three defenders trailing her. The ball sent wide to Fryer. Fryer has it. Taken away, but BYU will keep it. Nicely done there by Mazingo. Play it forward. 
The ball now at the feet of Zoe Jacobs. Jacobs gets away from the defender in the box. Her pass hits off of the Matador defender. Right now, CSUN is just trying to get that out of their defensive area. Bailey comes away with it. Shot with the right foot is far of the far post. Oh, it just kept slicing away. She had two defenders around her. She spun out of it and immediately shot with the right foot, but it had a little bit of English and just sliced away. Eight minutes to go. 0-0, BYU and CSUN. Long ball from the Matadors. Sent the other way by the BYU back line. And here come the Cougars one more time. Warner with a pass into the box to Bailey. One more time, a cross with the left foot. Cross by Aaron Bailey. Sent the other way. And it goes all the way to the other side of the pitch. BYU pushing it again. Vaca looking for Fryer. Fryer can't hang on to it. And you heard the whistle. And there was actually two players down, one on either side. And I think the one that got the whistle, the player down, was Sam Bustamante. And she's limping. She's going to limp off. Checking in, I believe that's 22. She has long hair that was covering the numbers there. Uh, Jackie Victorio, the freshman from Valencia, will check in. 22, Jackie Victorio. So it will be a free kick. It will be for CSUN. The ball was placed down, and immediately the Matadors put it in play. BYU steals it. Cougars trying to create something here with seven minutes to go. Back to the top of the arc for Warner. Her pass taken away, defended nicely by the Matadors. Here comes CSUN. Bad pass, and the Cougars come away with it. Vaca steps in front. Can she keep it in play? They say she did. The bench for CSUN saying it went out of play. Thought it should be a throw in. Instead, it'll be a foul on BYU. So a free kick coming up for the Matadors. Gabriela Robles, the senior from Simi Valley, will take it. Nice crowd here at Southfield. You got a lot of people inside the Smithfield House for volleyball. The stands almost full here. Probably a good four to five thousand people here in the vicinity right now. CSUN ball. Sending it forward. BYU intercepts. Laveni Vaca. Over to Stratton. To Wade. And now back to Izzy. Izzy pushes forward near midfield to Mazingo. Mazingo gets that away from Martin Dottillo. Plays the ball forward, taken away, and Brecken takes it right back. Cougars on the move. Brecken near the top of the arc. Passes back to Jamie Shepard. Jamie spins away from the defender near the top of the arc and pass through to Bailey. Another shot with the left foot and is wide Aaron one Bailey. more time. Aaron Bailey has had some looks here. I love the fact that she is wasting no time taking these shots. We get a look at it again. That one much closer than the one before, but she has come out, speaking of Aaron Bailey, looking to be aggressive, and you know the coaching staff loves that. Yeah, she's come out with some quick tempo, and I love that she's being urgent and calling for it out there too. She's making her presence known to her teammates and calling for the ball and communicating out there. Nearing five minutes to go here. CSUN with the ball at midfield. Errant pass taken away by BYU. Wade fighting for it. Now a foul is called as Olivia is pulled from behind. So a free kick near the center circle. Put in play. Stratton wide to Daviana Vaca. Davi now moving forward. Gets past the defender. Still on the move. Davi right foot across. Defended nicely by CSUN. They'll send it the other way. Stratton there to intercept. Cougar ball now into the attacking third. Up top to Daviana. Near the end line. Looking for the right footed cross. She does it. A shot. No good by Warner. And now another shot this time by Bailey. Hits the side of the net. Outside column. So another opportunity does not end with a goal in the back of the net. BYU just absolutely dominating statistically. 13 shots, none 
for CSUN. BYU with six corners, zero for the Matadors. Foul called on the Matadors. So a free kick in the neutral third, and BYU takes it. Davion Avaca, pass into the box. Bailey there, defended by CSUN, and they'll just get it out of play. There were two defenders around Bailey that essentially blocked her out like a power forward in basketball. They weren't wasting any time and just booted it out of play. Throw in for BYU. Cougars take it. Jacobs with the ball. Gets away from the de- defense. Into the box to Fryer. Alley has it taken away. And a foul is going to be called on Alley on a takedown. So another free kick. Upcoming for CSUN. Right now there are two soccer balls on the field. So unless they've changed the rules, they've got to get rid of one. They do that. Free kick right to BYU. Cougars push it the other way. Jamie Shepard, top of the arc, splits the defense. Now plays wide, finds Brecken Mazingo. Mazingo near the inline. Looking for the cross, deflects out of play, so another corner kick coming up for BYU. Corner Kicks brought to you by Mountain America, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. Mazingo will take it on the right side. Kick coming from Brecken Mazingo. Both teams lining up in the box, awaiting the corner from Mazingo. Brecken wearing number 13, runs up on it, kicks it with the right foot, high. Headed up by Shepard and back. BYU maintains possession. A stop, spin, and shot from Olivia Wade at the top of the arc. Sails over the crossbar. So another goal kick coming from Hayden Malden and CSUN. Fillmore Spencer is Utah Valley's trusted, top-rated local law firm. They can play offense, defense, or provide a little coaching. Fillmore Spencer, solving problems and seizing opportunities for you, your family, and your business. Matador ball. Two minutes. Two minutes left. Went out of play off of BYU, so a throw in right in front of our broadcast location. Put in play to Stevie Reynolds. Reynolds has it taken away. And now here comes BYU under two minutes. Looking to get on the board first. Fryer on the move. Stops. Redirects wide to Mazingo. Mazingo at the top of the arc. Left footed shot is good! Brecken Mazingo gets that first half goal. It's her second goal of the season and she puts BYU up 1-0 with 1.38 to go in the first half. Rach, we knew BYU was getting these looks. Eventually, one was going to go. And a great look from Brecken with the left foot, even with a little bit of ricochet off of the defender. She had enough on it to find the back of the net. Yeah, it took a little bit of a deflection there, but kudos to Brecken. I mean, what I love most about that is that Brecken was able to keep it on frame. That seems to be one of the themes with BYU. They've had a lot of shots this first half, but not a ton of shots on goal. So good job by Brecken, and also great job by Ali Fryer to just turn and go at speed at the defenders at CSUN. I mean, Ali went, she was able to find Brecken wide with that through ball, and, and good job from, from Brecken to keep that on frame and down and low, and was able to get the first goal for the Cougars. After not having a first half goal going into Thursday's game against Alabama, BYU now in back-to-back games have scored in the first half. BYU leading 1-0 with 1-11 to go. And BYU, you know, would love to add something here with a minute left. But right now, the ball being played by CSUN to their back line. We'll see if they're able to advance at all or if they're just going to try and get out of here at the break, trailing 1-0. Right now, they are pushing it, but not that aggressively. The ball sent forward, and BYU will come away with it. 44 seconds to go. Guess who's got it? Brecken Mazingo on the move. Pass wide to Fryer. Fryer catches up to it before it goes out of play in the far corner. Pass into the box, sent the other way by the Matadors, and out of play. Under 30 seconds to go. Brecken Mazingo putting BYU up 1-0. 
with under two minutes to go in the first half. We are nearing halftime. 15 seconds. Can BYU add a goal before we reach zeros? Turnover by BYU. CSUN sends it the other way, and it looks like that's going to be your halftime score. As you hear the countdown at 2 and 1 and 0. That is your halftime score off of the left foot and sort of off of the defender from CSUN as well. BYU leads Cal State Northridge by a score of 1 to nothing. We will take a break. We'll come back. We'll give you some first half stats. We'll also let you hear my conversation with Cougar keeper Savannah Mason. BYU with a 1-0 lead at the break. Back to Southfield after this on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.